Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Alana, watching Dragon Ball Daima. I have been very excited to see this video because it's Dragon Ball. And as you guys may or may not know, Dragon Ball is what actually got me kind of like kicked off with reacting. Yes, One Piece is a big portion of my audience here. Before there was One Piece, I was doing Dragon Ball Super on my previous channel and then I got freaking axed by YouTube. So then I had to make another channel and then we had one piece kind of like blow up on the second one. But yeah, Dragon Ball is a first love, okay? Between this and Sailor Moon was like my first introduction to anime growing up. So this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be like nostalgia. It's gonna be all of that. And I cannot wait to watch. So yes, you guys, I am going to zip it. Now let us just go ahead and jump right on in. Let's go. <laughs> He may appear gentle, but he is a beast! Oh, baby Goku. Throwbag! Vegeta. Okay, nice introduction, uh, narrator. Who's the threat this time? Okay, this is giving me a movie. A little projector room? We can check on people that boo? Krillin with hair is so odd to look at. Ooh, so they're siblings! That's why they look similar! Well, you can tell he don't like humans. Yo, and Vegeta! This is crazy! I feel like they're giving us little highlights of the timeline before. I love this art for Vegeta. The ears are round. They're Saiyans. Do they know about Saiyans? So I guess it's letting us know this is happening because of the Boo, the Majin Boo arc. Babidi. <laughs> Yo, Boo is vicious. Made him into a cookie and ate his tail. He wanted to be like, hell yeah, I win. Pick a look! Are they late to this party or they're watching this as it's happening? Because I tell you what, every time this man gets knocked down, he gets right back up. Let's go, Vegeta. Well, it's not that easy at all. Shinrai. Let's go animation. That's right, they're probably used to the big um, Dragon Balls. The one that we saw in the Terminal Power. Bomo Yamcha? We're trying to see how to use them. Three whole wishes. They are so late. Yeah! 
<laughs> Look at his face. How they lose them? You could have sagas to meet Karana Hazda. I thought of the guy who's dead on a car. Oh, he transformed. I feel like maybe this is like a, a refresher episode. Spirit bomb. That boo was a menace. <laughs> Matana! This right here is just showing them how much of a threat Goku is. He <laughs> gave the thumbs up to all those who are watching. <laughs> Uh oh. I feel like this is short lived. Doctor? I didn't. She looks so evil. Y'all kind of loud. Mm, something's going on in her head. We'll see. Ah. She said, Oh, you better not cut my money. Is this going to be an inner battle? To where they summon Goku and now? When you cut my research, I'm gonna have big ass come up here and beat your tail. He's loyal. I kinda figured we were gonna end up doing that. Is it their Dragon Balls, maybe? Ah, okay. That's what I was assuming they were talking about in the first place. White magic. What are you gonna ask? Make them young. She ain't never leave. Yo, we thought she left and she was still lingering. Why? Is he gonna let him or no? What his wish be? Neva the Namek. They have a Namek there. Ooh. Somebody was spying. That's a Namek. Taking his sweet old time. <laughs> Is he sitting on him? Oh man, but years, one year. Well, <laughs> he don't like that. He forgot his toothbrush. Look, he needs some soap. A young one. Pickle? 
If you are really enjoying this reaction and want to see the full uncut version, please join me over on Patreon. There you'll have access to all the shows you see here on YouTube and the Patreon exclusives. And don't forget before you leave to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's go animation. Is that a guard or something? Pen number. So to leave, you have to go in his mouth? That's so weird. Recently, oh, I ain't telling you nothing. Huh? His sister? She's up to something. She's manipulating these guys. <laughs> it's his truck's birthday. Oh, he's tiny, little trunks. <laughs> you were the last one to call anybody. I know that's right. <laughs> that is funny. Ah, so that's how they got separated. <laughs> he wanna be an old man, he wanna be young. <laughs> Very well, he didn't want to do it. This was about trunks, and they over here training. He's like, bring it on! No, Goku's taking over Vegeta! Oh, shoot! Vegeta can never win! <laughs> Poor soul. Thousands of years is crazy. Oh, so they are from the demon world. So if you have pointy ears, you're from the demon world. What's he gonna do? A thousand years? Oh, is he gonna summon the um Shinron? He made the Dragon Balls? Obviously. Oh, he turned that aura on ASAP. Oh, you can't summon them yet. This old man got power. He can summon them like that? Never. Dang, he got another cheat? Man, this man can turn these stone balls into regular Dragon Balls. They probably don't need it. You gotta cry, uh, Would you like some juice? <laughs> that is funny.
The animation is very crispy. Yes. Yes. Should be. But ain't. And all of their friends into children. First graders. Yo, he made him specify. She can't drink anymore. Well, I don't know. Boomer might not mind. <laughs> it's like they on drugs. Poor Trunks. Supposed to be a party. He got turned into a baby. Glorio. Oh. So he's the guy that we saw, Glorio. Okie dokie, artichokey. So that was Dragon Ball Daima. And we're, I guess they were just trying to fill in the, the, the information leading up to what's going to happen. So we are seeing the story of Majin Buu. Um, they are seeing them as a threat. They know that if they were to do anything, a lot feel like Dr. Arinsu put this in the back of their minds, but they feel like they're going to be a threat because they need to change them into children, which I think is so stupid. For first graders, it's kind of crazy. How could, if you let a first grader beat your ass, I'm judging. But we already know Goku and especially, especially um like gohan and and like vegeta piccolo they're probably they're probably whipping ass as first graders so i definitely see this one backfire it might not make them as strong but they're still going to be strong so yeah and i wonder what dr adinsu did like how why would she go after Dabura? you know what i'm saying what was she was she knowing what they were doing? Was she observing them? Was she waiting for the opportune time to fulfill some objective that she has? And is she using these guys as a tool? I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. She seems very shifty. But yeah, this is a good solid episode. The animation is crispy. It's giving movie quality. So they're starting it off pretty nicely. And I feel like they just try to use this first episode to set a tone for what's to come um, or to give us a, a understanding of where we're starting at with a good starting piece so they can continue to build on the story. So yeah, I'm not too mad at it. We're, we saw them shrinking, so I, I guess I can't wait to see the next episode to see everybody super small and to see Baby Trunks and Goten. They're gonna be so cute, right? <laughs> but yes, thank you guys so much for watching this episode with me and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.